Hello guys, it's good to be back once again. This is Mike Padua and we're back to our weather analysis for this uh, Thursday to Saturday, June 20 to 22, 2024. And we are now fast approaching the Northern Hemisphere summer solstice and it's likely to begin in the next few days, uh, June 22, while in the Southern Hemisphere is the start of the winter season for them, those living down under, okay? So uh, we are now giving you the very latest to see what's in store across the Philippine Islands and the Western Pacific. This is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. And also one of the uh, best hotels in uh, the Bicol region and Naga City, Avenue Plaza Hotel. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamagali Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. And let's begin with our update. Here's the latest Gravesat for uh, today, Thursday until tomorrow, Friday. We have a sudden turn of events right now. The uh, former LPA-96W, which formed uh, a few days ago, has weakened into a uh, weak LPA. And yesterday and today, it has been absorbed into this uh, becoming more active monsoon draft. When we say monsoon draft, we have the converging of the winds blowing from the northeast and uh, from the southwest, okay? So that's the definition, the pure definition of a monsoon draft. While the IDC say it's more of a southeasterly winds on the southern half of this convergence. So that's what we call as the IDC say. But up here, it's still the same blowing from the northeast. So that's the difference between the two converging wind systems. So since we don't have any uh, tropical cyclone, it's uh, uh, very hard to enhance the southwest monsoon. That's why it's only a very weak southwesterly wind flow together with the northeasterly wind flow. When it converges, it will create this massive amounts of the thunderstorm activity all across the country. And it's now affecting southern and central Luzon, including Metro Manila, Bicol Region, Mimaropa, Visayas, Sulu Archipelago, Mindanao, including the Spratly Islands, where we have here the disputed islands of the uh, South China Sea and West Philippine Sea area, including the Kalayan Island Group. So there might be more thunderstorms in store for the next few days since uh, the remnants of LPA 96W will exit the West Philippine Sea and there might be a new cyclone that could form near Hainan and will affect uh, northern Vietnam and southern China area. So take all necessary precautions down there over northern Vietnam and southern China, particularly Hainan Island, uh, beginning uh, uh, this weekend to early next week. And uh, if we... Uh, Meanwhile, here outside of PAR, we don't have any developing LPA or tropical cyclone in sight. And uh, we just have here a uh, uh, intratropical convergence zone, which have uh, which we have mentioned a while ago. And uh, here's the fast animation. So there you go. The converging uh, uh, trough originating over the coastal area of uh, Vietnam up to the East Philippine Sea. And for the zoom in satellite animation, uh, this is for the past six hours beginning at 5 p.m. up to 11 o'clock this evening. You can clearly see here some uh, developing thunderstorms still affecting most parts of the country, particularly over Metro Manila, uh, Western Visayas, um, also here over uh, Palawan area, while over Bicol and uh, most parts of Mindanao is starting to uh, weaken. Okay, and uh, for the uh, uh, wind and ratio forecast from the European model, courtesy of the windy.com, the winds will be uh, mostly from the southeast across the eastern coastal waters of the Philippine Islands, while southern winds over west of Palawan, the rest of the Philippine Islands will remain uh, 
very calm to light winds blowing from the southeast or south and we expect more thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening through the next two, two days until Saturday. Okay, so that will be the forecast to the weekend since we are now in the uh, rainy or wet season. Okay, and here's the uh, area of the monsoon trough uh, becoming to uh, organize, uh, becoming better organized over the West Philippine Sea and the South China Sea area. And for the next three days until Sunday, tomorrow, uh, Friday, same uh, wind system. And Saturday, we have a uh, development here over the West Philippine Sea. There might be a low pressure system that could form near the coastal waters of Vietnam and some intensifying southwesterly wind flow, or we can call this already as the Southwest Monsoon, okay, affecting the Spratly Islands, including Kalayan Island Coop and the coastal waters of Western Palawan and Western Luzon. So expect more thunderstorms here. Okay, uh, bad weather over the West Philippine Sea beginning this weekend. And on Sunday, uh, we could uh, expect a possibility of a low pressure system forming here, probably becoming 97W. Okay, and then uh, the southwest monsoon is starting to uh, uh, constrict. Okay, but still affecting the West Philippine Sea while over the Bicol region, Visayas, southern. southern uh, uh, portion of Sulu Archipelago, Mindanao will have very calm to light winds in all varying directions. And on Monday, uh, there we go, this is now the LPA becoming a possibility of a monsoon depression over the vicinity of uh, Hainan. Okay, so these are all from the uh, European model, but if we take a look at the uh, American model uh, on Monday is still the same situation. There might be a, uh, a possibility of monsoon depression in the vicinity of Hainan. Okay, so there's still no uh, tropical cyclone formation over the uh, eastern uh, part of the Philippine Sea into the Micronesian Islands. It's all clear. Now let's take a look at the uh, rain forecast for the next three days until Sunday. And through the evening, we are still expecting some scattered thunderstorms across uh, Metro Manila, Central Zone, and uh, portions of uh, Mimaropa and Western Visayas. Uh, Friday morning, some thunderstorms will still prevail. And in the afternoon, we expect another round of thunderstorms in various sections of the country. And on Saturday afternoon, again, uh, most of the country will be expecting some localized thunderstorms. So please take all necessary precaution for a possible sudden downpour because of uh, severe thunderstorms that could generate lightning strikes, flash floods, and uh, landslides, particularly over the slopes of Mount Kanlaon. And Mindanao will also have some share of severe thunderstorms. Sunday afternoon, again, uh, very strong thunderstorms will be expected across the Visayas and Mindanao in varying, varying uh, intensity in uh, uh, isolated areas, okay? While Luzon will also have a 50-50 chance of thunderstorms, particularly when we move into the thunder in the afternoon, it will increase. And uh, again, don't forget to bring your umbrellas and rain gear to the weekend because this Afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms will be the common feature of our day-to-day -day weather here in our, in our country. Here in our country. Now for the rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days until uh, Saturday. So there you go. It looks like the much uh, rainfall or the increasing uh, intensity of rainfall will be concentrated over the West Philippine Sea and the Sulu Archipelago Mimaropa area as well as over the western uh, Luzon area because of the uh, possibility of a uh, monsoon trough becoming active here and a low pressure system that could form uh, to the southeast of uh, Hainan Island so the uh, much of the rainfall will be concentrated over the Kalayan Island group because of the uh, southwest monsoon becoming uh, active over the West Philippine Sea. 
Uh, so it's uh, the other way around over the east uh, side, eastern side of the country. We're in isolated thunderstorms, but still good weather. Uh, hot and warm, uh, sunny skies will be expected with afternoon and uh, evening rain showers and thunderstorms along the eastern portions of the country. For the wave forecast, this is the uh, wave forecast for today. So, one meter of wave heights over the East Philippine Sea, as well as over the West Philippine Sea, while come to uh, almost half a meter of wave heights will be expected over the uh, central portions of the Philippines, okay, and the inland waters. Now, if we move into Friday, uh, same situation will be expected all throughout the uh, coastal waters of our country. While on Saturday afternoon, we expect increasing wave height here over the Spratly Islands, over the West Philippine Sea, because of the uh, intensifying southwest monsoon, uh, wave heights of up to 2.5 or 2.6 meters, which is uh, already at moderate levels, will be expected. So this will be uh, rough and dangerous to small sea crafts. Okay. And on Sunday, we expect increasing wave heights here over the central portion of the West Philippine Sea or over the South China Sea, north of the Kalayan Island Group. So expect uh, rough seas of up to 3 to 4 meters in height because of the development of a low pressure here area southeast of Hainan that could enhance the surge of the southwest monsoon. Okay, while over the inland waters of the Philippine Islands, it will remain calm to uh, about half a meter in wave height, while over the East Philippine Sea, it will be around uh, half a meter to one meter in wave height, which is very light and suitable for fishing and sea travel. Okay, so before we leave you, here's the latest Global Tropics Hazards Outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, valid for the next two to three weeks, when in the third week is highly uncertain, bound for changes. So for week two, valid uh, June 26 to July 2, the Philippine Islands will remain uh, more than 20% of a probability of a tropical cyclone formation and uh, a higher uh, chance of above average rainfall over central and southern Philippines that's uh, along the southern Tagalog provinces including Metro Manila, Pico region, Mimaropa, Visayas, Sulu Archipelago, the uh, Kalayan Island Group, and Mindanao. So uh, this is a good relief. For those who are waiting for much, much rainfall uh, for their farmlands as well as for the uh, uh, much needed rainfall across the various dams in our country. Okay, and for week three, this is, uh, let me move this, valid July 3 to July 9. Although this is highly uncertain, you can see here. Based on the new output, we are more than 40% uh, uh, of uh, uh, a tropical cyclone formation or medium chance forming here over the Philippine Islands, 20 to more than 40%. Okay, so uh, still, this is still highly, still, this is highly uncertain. So we shall know. By next week, what will be the output for the next uh, hazards uh, maps, okay, from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA. So, uh, most likely, uh, at the end of the month or first week of July, we could have or we might have a tropical cyclone formation somewhere here over the Philippine Sea, either west or east of our country. Okay, so let's hope no landfall. All of them will curve away from our country. So there you go. That's the latest for this uh, Thursday evening, almost uh, uh, Friday, June 21. And we will return on uh, this weekend to give you more updates on the weather. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Padua saying good day to all. Happy weekend. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click on the subscribe button down here on the lower right. And also... 
uh, follow our Facebook page, Mike, Mr. Typhoon Padua, for more updates. And also at our uh, uh, websites, typhoon2000.ph or typhoon2000.com for the latest information on upcoming typhoons as well as typhoon2000.org if you want to receive or get the latest advisories when we have tropical cyclones across our country. Again, thank you so much for watching. God bless to all.